To all the different kinds of bugs that live here, the forest is a giant buffet. This giant grasshopper is a herbivore. It has the basic insect toolkit, three sets of mouth parts. It uses sideways slicing jagged mandibles like scissors to cut up leaves. The other two sets carry jointed palps that taste the food before the grasshopper bites into it. This multi-blade Swiss Army knife of tools evolved from primitive legs and, with a few minor modifications, can be used to tackle many different items on the insect menu. This African ground beetle is a carnivore. It hunts on the forest floor, but it won't be a high-speed chase. It hunts slugs. These defenseless mollusks seem to just wait to get captured. The beetle's mandibles have pointed tips, more like curved daggers than scissors. Perfect for piercing the gelatinous slug and dragging it off. The mandibles also serve as steak knives. Below the pointed tips, sharp blades chop up slug meat into bite-sized pieces. Covered in slime, there's no elegant way to eat a slug. But the little African ground beetle is no slob. Keeping its mouth parts and legs clean is vital to its survival. So, after it finishes a meal, it finds a napkin to wipe itself clean. This bit of leaf will do nicely. Grasshoppers and beetles use the insect equivalent of knives and forks to cut and then chew their food. This stealthy assassin bug prefers to stab and suck. All three sets of mouth parts are molded into a long, sharp beak, or rostrum, strong enough to puncture the armor of its prey. In this case, a wandering cockroach. The beak is hollow. When it pierces the roach's tough exoskeleton, it injects a deadly, fast-acting poison, which dissolves the prey from the inside. Then, with straw already inserted, the assassin bug slurps up the gourmet cockroach soup. This South African rock scorpion isn't an insect, it's an arachnid. So it starts with a different basic toolkit. One set of primitive legs has been transformed into giant claws called pedipalps, evolved to grab and hold prey using brute strength though it's a bit of overkill on a little woodlouse. Scorpions don't have mandibles. Instead, another much smaller pair of claws, the chelicery, reinforced with heavy metals for toughness, tear and shred its meal, before passing morsels into its mouth, hidden from view. All arthropod mouth parts started out as primitive legs, but evolution has transformed those basic jointed limbs into different structures, from claws to straws. It's just one of the reasons for their incredible success.